Hello and welcome back to the Tech Blackboard. In this part 29 of our AZ900 2023 series, we are going to focus on questions based on Azure cost. And friends, we all understand that cost reduction is one of the primary focus of each individual and each company. It is quite an important section and there are many Azure services and concepts to be understood to be able to answer related questions in AZ900 exam. So let's jump in. So let's begin part 29 with question number 541. It says which of the following Azure services provides a set of tools for monitoring, allocating and optimizing your Azure cost. Your options are Azure cost management, Azure pricing calculator and lastly we are given with total cost of ownership calculator and the correct answer for this question is option A Azure cost management. So let's take some more questions on Azure cost management and then I will give you Microsoft documentation to validate the answers and also do some self learning. So here it comes question number 542 it says Azure cost management is a paid service yes or no and the correct answer for this question is no well sometimes even the good services are for free. Coming to the question number 543 it says select key features of Azure cost management and your options are cost reduction, cost and billing information, budgets, cost distribution among resources, alerts, automated exports, discounts and lastly we are given with cost recommendations and the correct answer for this question is option B, option C, option E, F and lastly option H and this documentation here my friends it's a great place to understand Microsoft cost management and how does it help you? Well it helps you monitor, allocate and optimize cloud cost with transparency, accuracy and efficiency. A lot of good information is provided in this documentation. You can learn about how to monitor your cloud spending. You can also learn to increase organizational accountability and much more. The link as usual is provided in the description box. Let's move on to the question number 544. It says which of the following Azure service allows customers to compare the cost of their on premises workloads with the same workloads running in Azure platform. Your options are Azure cost management. Azure pricing calculator and the last one is total cost of ownership calculator and the correct answer for this question is option C total cost of ownership calculator. So what is a total cost of ownership calculator? Well of course as the name suggests it's a calculator that Microsoft has built for you to estimate the cost saving that you can realize by migrating your workloads to Azure. And how to use it? Well, on this web page, you can define your workloads, you can add your database, you can add your storage. So basically, you try to replicate all the components that you have in your on premises workload. And then Microsoft Azure will give you a cost estimate of the ownership in case you move the entire workload to Microsoft Azure. So in this way, you can know your spending before even moving any single component to Microsoft Azure. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 545 says that Azure pricing calculator allows customers to review and estimate the cost of running their Azure services before making a purchase. Yes or no? And the correct answer for this question is yes. Moving on with the question number 546, it says that you can use Azure cost management to view the costs associated to management groups. Yes or no? And this one, my friends, is a true statement. That's why yes is the correct answer. And this is the Microsoft documentation where we can validate our answer. And in this documentation, I have come to the section which is named as how cost management and billing relate. And here you can very well read that cost management is available from within the billing experience. And then it says it's also available from every subscription, resource group and management group in the Azure portal. So here lies our answer management group in Azure portal. So that's why yes is the correct answer. Moving on question number 547 it says that you can use Azure cost management to view costs associated to resource group yes or no and this time we just read in the documentation the correct answer is yes and let's quickly move to the question number 548 it says that you can use Azure cost management to view the usage of virtual machines during the last three months yes or no and this time my friends once again this is a true statement that's why yes is the correct answer. Moving on with question number 549, it says which task can you perform by using Azure Advisor? 
and your options are integrate active directory and azure active directory option b is estimate cost of an azure solution and then option c says confirm that azure subscription security follows best practices and lastly we are given with evaluate which on premises resources can be migrated to azure and the correct answer for this question is estimate the cost of an azure solution and now comes question number 550 it says that your company has 10 offices and you plan to generate several billing reports from the azure portal now each report will contain the azure resource utilization of each office so which azure resource manager feature should you use before you generate the reports your options are tags templates logs or policies and the correct answer for this question is option a tax and why this is so because you can use resource tags to label azure resources and tags are metadata elements attached to the resources when all the azure resources are tagged you can generate reports to list all the resources based on the value of that particular tag coming up next is question number 551 it says that you deploy an azure resource the resource becomes unavailable for an extended period of time due to a service outage now what will microsoft do so will microsoft refund your bank account or it will migrate the resource to another subscription the third option is credit your azure account and the last option is send your coupon code that you can redeem for azure credits so basically the question is asking that in case there is a service that is unavailable for an extended period of time and due to that you have some problems in your application how does microsoft will repay you and the correct answer for this question is option c credit your azure account so please understand that if the sla of an azure service is not met then you receive credits and these credits are detected from your monthly bill for that service and that's how microsoft repays you and now coming to the question number 552 it says that your team needs to have a tool that provides digital online assistant for speech support which of the following service can be used for this purpose your options are azure machine learning azure i2 hub azure ai bot or azure functions and the correct answer for this question is option c azure ai bot so friends whenever in the question there is a mention of online assistant for speech support then in that case always go for azure ai bot moving on with the question number 553 it says a single microsoft account can be used to maintain multiple azure subscriptions yes or no and the correct answer for this question is yes which means that you can use same account to manage multiple subscriptions coming up next is question number 554 it says a company can store resources in multiple subscriptions yes or no and this one my friends is a true statement so most definitely a company can have multiple subscriptions and it can store resources in different subscriptions but then please remember a single resource instance can only exist in one subscription and now we have question number 555 it says two azure subscriptions can be merged into a single subscription by creating a support request yes or no and the correct answer is no and it's a very important concept please remember that you cannot merge two subscriptions into a single subscription however if the need arises you can definitely move some azure resources from one subscription to another subscription and in case you want you can also transfer the ownership of a subscription and change the billing type for a subscription moving on with the question number 556 it says each azure subscription can contain multiple account administrators yes or no and for this question friends i have picked a no and the reason as i understand is that you can assign service administrators and co-administrators in the azure portal but there can be only one account administrator and now we have question number 557 it says each azure subscription can be managed by using a microsoft account only yes or no and this one is a false statement that's why no is the correct answer coming up next is question number 558 it says an azure resource group contains multiple azure subscriptions yes or no and the correct answer is no so friends azure resource groups are logical containers for azure resources however resource group do not contain subscriptions in fact it's the other way around subscriptions contains resource groups and now we have question number 559 it says that your team needs to have a tool that can use past trainings to provide predictions of very high probability which of the following service can be used for this purpose your options are azure machine learning azure iot hub 
Azure AI Bot or Azure Functions? And the correct answer for this question is option A, Azure Machine Learning. And coming up next is question number 560. It says that you plan to host web application in Azure platform as a service solution for Azure web apps. So do you think this platform will have the ability to scale automatically? Yes or no? And the correct answer for this question is yes. So when you host a web application in Microsoft Azure as Azure Web Apps, then it automatically has the ability to scale down or scale up. So friends, I hope you like the questions on Azure cost concepts. If you do, then why not please press the like button and help us grow. And in case you have some doubts or some new questions or maybe some feedback for me, then please write to me in the comment section or email me at connectus at the rate the techblackboard.com and I will be happy to answer. And please subscribe to the channel and press that all option to get the timely notification of all our upcoming videos. And please share our videos on your social media platforms. And I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.